In this video we explore the difficulties that anesthetists face when dealing with an unanticipated difficult airway scenario, along with strategies for handling such circumstances. It's a typical day. 7 in the morning, we are about to take our first patient for surgery into the operating room. Just relax and observe as we guide you through the various strategies and tactics that we do to overcome the challenges of an unanticipated difficult airway. Once the patient is inside, secure the monitors and check vital signs. Preoxygenate the patient and keep a suction unit close to the patient's head. After adjusting the table height to a comfortable position for intubation, induce the patient. Once they are asleep, optimize the patient's head and neck to ensure optimum face mask ventilation. Check ventilation and then give adequate muscle relaxants. Start timer. Apply enough lubricating gel to the stylet and the endotracheal tube. Insert the stylet to the tube and adjust the curvature. It is recommended to begin by choosing a direct laryngoscopy technique with a standard laryngoscope as the primary approach. If direct laryngoscopy is difficult, use a video laryngoscope. When it's challenging to see the vocal cords during intubation, you can use a bougie as a helpful tool. The bougie assists in navigating and smoothly inserting the endotracheal tube into the proper position. Remove the bougie, inflate the cuff and connect the circuit. Confirm tracheal intubation with capnography. Yes, that was a successful attempt. But, what if it didn't work out? If that attempt is unsuccessful, seek assistance. Please call for help. Remove cricoid pressure. Maintain oxygenation as you wait for assistance. A hyperangulated blade, such as a D-blade or glidoscope, should be used during video laryngoscopy by the senior anesthetist. Align the tracheal tube's curvature with the blade's curve, and try intubating the trachea. If succeeded, remove the stylet, inflate the cuff and connect the circuit. Confirm tracheal intubation with capnography. So, plan A was successful. But what if plan A failed? If plan A failed, proceed to plan B. It's also crucial to bring the difficult airway management trolley inside. A difficult airway management trolley is a specialized equipment cart designed to assist anesthetists in managing challenging airway situations. It contains various tools and devices specifically tailored to address difficulties encountered during intubation and airway management. Now that Plan A has failed, let's switch to Plan B. To maintain oxygenation using supraglottic airway device. Second generation device is recommended. The laryngeal mask airway is carefully inserted into the patient's mouth, following the proper guidelines and ensuring a proper fit in the throat. If first attempt fails, readjust the position or change the device or size and try again. Try mask ventilation between attempts. Connect the circuit. Confirm proper position of supraglottic airway device with capnography. Once successful, stop and consider your alternatives. Whether or not to wake the patient, whether to intubate trachea using the supraglottic device, or to continue without tracheal intubation. And if you opt to intubate the trachea using the supraglottic airway device, it is preferable to use an entry intubation catheter to slide the endotracheal tube. 
Get a 4mm fiber optic bronchoscope ready and insert it through the entry catheter. The entry catheter serves as a pathway for the subsequent insertion of the tracheal tube. Gently advance it through the LMA until its distal end reaches the opening of the trachea. Remove the fiber optic bronchoscope and then remove the LMA. An endotracheal tube, which is appropriately sized for the patient, is carefully threaded over the entry catheter into the trachea. Remove the entry catheter. Inflate the cuff, connect the circuit and confirm tracheal intubation with capnography. Thus, Plan B was successful. But what if Plan B didn't work? If Plan B fails, immediately switch to Plan C, which is face mask ventilation. Remove the supraglottic device. Hold face mask. If face mask ventilation is impossible, paralyze the patient. Use airway adjuncts. Follow basic airway maneuvers. Use two-person technique for ventilation. If Plan C succeeds, wake the patient up. And what if Plan C fails? The saturation is dropping. If Plan C fails, the patient cannot be ventilated and cannot be intubated. Then promptly carry out Plan D, which is emergency front of neck access via scalpel cricothyroidotomy. Extend patient neck by pushing a pillow under the shoulders or by dropping the head of the operating table. Cricothyroidotomy set contains a gum elastic bougie, size 6, cuffed endotracheal tube and also a scalpel number 10 blade. Stand on patient's left hand side, if you are right-handed. Perform a laryngeal handshake to identify the larynx. Stabilize the larynx between thumb and middle finger. Stretch the skin. Place the index finger on the cricothyroid membrane. Hold the scalpel in right hand, making a transverse stab incision through the skin and cricothyroid membrane, with the cutting edge of the blade facing towards you. Keep the scalpel perpendicular to the skin and turn in 90 degrees, so the sharp edge points towards the feet. Swap the hands, so that you are holding the scalpel with your left hand. Take bougie in your right hand in parallel to the scalpel and right angle to the trachea, push the tip down the scalpel blade, keeping contact with the blade until bougie is in trachea. Remove the scalpel. Advance the size 6 tracheal tube to the trachea by continuously rotating the tube as you advance it. Try to avoid excessive advancement of the tube. Remove the bougie. Inflate the cuff. Attach the circuit and confirm the ventilation with capnography. Proper positioning of the tube is confirmed by auscultating breath sounds, observing chest rise, and assessing end tidal carbon dioxide levels. So, remember, when it comes to managing a difficult airway, Perseverance and adaptability are the keys to success. Keep calm, stay vigilant, and never underestimate the impact of determined anesthetists and technologists working in tandem.